Hello everybody, welcome back to our 37 info channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the display settings you should change now on your Vivo X300 and X300 Pro. So first, we want to adjust our screen brightness. So this is a very obvious setting that we change in the settings app. Then we go over to display brightness and eye protection. Here, as you guys can see, we have the brightness and we can adjust it manually or enable auto brightness so it automatically adapts to the light that the phone is in. So you guys can manually lower it for better saving or you can set it to auto so it adjusts, as I said, on the lighting conditions. So here you guys can do that. Now moving on, I think the second display setting everybody should change if you're not using dark mode all the time but you're only using it at night, then I would recommend you guys changing the scheduled switch. So here we have the sunset to sunrise, but this requires location. We can go over to custom and we can switch it to light at let's say 6, 15 a.m. and this is a 24 hour clock, but this is 11 p.m. Now click on OK and basically whenever there's time for it, let me quickly change it to 545. As you guys can see, we are now in the light mode, but when I change it to 37, there's a minute left. Then at the 1747, which is 547, we will change it to dark. So now there it is. Now it should change up in a couple of seconds because of the delays. It's pretty normal if it's even delayed by a minute or two, but it's probably because we just set it up. So that's completely normal. And it's best to test whenever you're actually trying it. For example, at 11 PM, not now, but this definitely works as a setting now what you guys want to change is enable the eye comfort and protection so you want it either scheduled or you want it turned on all the time but all the time as you guys can see it look very yellowish so this is only when you're not on your let's say pc you're not behind a tv screen or you're just laying in bed and want to use your phone without your eyes being damaged here you guys can also set it custom so for an example you want to set it from so the start will be at let's say 11 p.m the same with the dark mode and we're gonna have the end at 6 15 a.m the same as the dark and light mode here you guys can select the eye protection adjustment you guys can set it to smart and it will basically filter out blue light to relieve any eye fatigue here you guys can also use the global we can use the weak one we can use the normal one and the strong one this is as you guys can see friendly for dry eyes you can see that there's a noticeable difference in this setting right here and this setting right here so now this is my setting and what you guys also want to change is go into the display settings right here sorry not the settings but the section and change auto lock 30 or seconds or one minute because this time you don't want to waste your battery on a your phone just running and not you're not even using it but it's still running the screen and one minute and, or 30 seconds i think is actually enough so if you forget to lock your screen then it will automatically lock after one minute or after 30 seconds now here we have the screen saver as you guys can see this is a setting that you want to either enable or disable. It's totally up to you. As you guys can see, here we have the photos. Now we can see the preview and this is how it looks. So it's completely empty now. Let's, I'll disable it. This is the setting I always disable, but this is totally up to your preference. You can set up your own pictures. And the next thing is set a different font. So it's also here in the display section. Here we have the font style. Let me quickly agree. And here, as you guys can see, I have two fonts and more fonts are on the market here. So you guys can search for the font that you like. 
but I feel like the Vivo Sans is actually a great font. We can apply it and as you guys can see, now it's applied. We have a different font on our phone. It looks totally different and I'll get back to the display settings. And here we have the font size and weight. So as you guys can see, we can set it to bold for an example. We can change the font size to small. And now this is how it looks like. So we can completely transform our phone just by changing the fonts. And you guys can see how noticeable that is. We can also use the lightweight. And now the, our phone looks completely different too. We can use the font size like large or standard. And now let's move on from the fonts to the display size. As you guys can see, this is what you guys want to change. I always use the small one. I feel like this is the best setting for me as I love a lot of things on the screen. And with the large settings, I basically just wouldn't have that. So the small looks like this. Of course, it also looks different here. Now for the screen resolution, you guys definitely want to use the Ultra HD instead of HD. As you guys can see, you will get a sharper display and by changing to HD, you will have a longer battery life. So only if you're actually in a situation where you need to save your battery, then you can change it. But I would recommend running the Ultra HD all the time. Now for the screen refresh rate, you definitely want to change it to either smart adaptation or high because whenever you're not using your phone, just like now, the screen is at 60 Hertz, but whenever I start moving, then it's at 120. So we get a smoother motion and we get battery saving right when we're not using our phone. But whenever we set it on high, then now it's also 120 and our battery is just getting wasted. So smart adaptation it is. Now, what you guys can do next is go over and check the display in full screen and display on top. Here you guys can change it up to your personal preference. Now display in full screen, as you guys can see, apps already adapted won't appear in the list. So this is only for apps that are not adapted. You guys can enable or disable, for an example, Netflix here. This is the only app that I have here because this phone is fresh and it doesn't have many apps installed. And here we have display on top. So here you guys can change it to let's say auto fit. And as you guys can see, it will judge automatically whether to avoid the front camera area to display themselves according to the content showing on their interfaces. So here we have the display front camera or hide front camera. So it's totally, as you guys can see up to us, we can adjust it for let's say YouTube. So whenever I open up the YouTube, now let's click on allow and click on accept all. Let's change it to YouTube to hide front camera. And as you guys can see, it's totally different now. So this is what you guys definitely want to change for some apps because some apps just do not fit perfectly. And this is not only for this device, but I've also had it on the iOS and I couldn't change it, but here you guys can. So this is definitely a better customizable phone. So what you guys want to do next is have fun with your device because we are done. That's it for the video. I hope it was helpful and I hope those display settings helped you get your way with the phone. And that's it. I hope it was helpful. Leave a like, subscription and a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.